Hello, my name is Elias Septi and I'm a graduate student at UC Santa Barbara in the Materials Department. I am originally from the Bay Area and I did my undergraduate studies at UC Berkeley in the Material Science Department. Material Science is a really interesting subject in general because it brings together chemistry, physics, math, and biology to really develop materials for a very wide range of applications. Throughout my undergrad, I did research, uh, specifically in the field of lithium-ion batteries. I chose that field because I knew that I wanted to dedicate my career to fighting climate change, and batteries are one first step in that direction. Batteries can help us because they can store energy from intermittent renewable energy sources, which means that they're not available at all times. And in that way, we can take energy that was only available at one time to use it at a later time. Batteries are very efficient in storing energy, and that's why they're a very good step in the direction of replacing fossil fuels. I chose to go into research because I love to learn. I realized that what I really loved about school was that you got to learn something new every day. And research is really similar to that. Um, graduate school offers a path towards becoming a full-time researcher, uh, but it's also a lot more than that. Uh, regardless of whether or not you want to become a full-time researcher, graduate school is really nice because it offers you an opportunity to really learn the scientific method and become much better at tackling any sort of problem very methodically and step-by-step. Step. So regardless of whether or not you want to become a full-time researcher, graduate school is a really beneficial experience in general. As a graduate student, my daily life consists of taking classes, doing research, and volunteering. So in general, the classes are really nice, uh, especially relative to undergraduate, because in a lot of classes when you're an undergrad, you are dealing with a lot of students in your class, and it's much harder to get that one-on-one -on -one interaction with professors. In graduate school, classes are much smaller, and you really get to personally interact with your professors and learn as much as possible from them. In general, with research in material science, there's so many different fields that you can go into. You can go into anything from quantum computing to semiconductors to batteries. Uh, specifically, my research focuses on replacing organic flammable liquid electrolytes that are currently used in most, most lithium-ion battery technologies with non-flammable uh, solid materials. Uh, this, this research in general has a lot of applications in electric vehicles and shooting to make them charge faster. Um, finally, with respect to volunteering, uh, volunteering as a graduate student is a really nice opportunity to get to share the wonders of science with the surrounding community and you really get to teach science in a sense that makes people uh, really love the subject and see the wonders of it. In the science demo I've put together for you, we are running a nail penetration test on a lithium ion battery. Fundamentally, a lithium ion battery works by moving lithium from one side of the battery, where it is lower in energy, to the other side, where it is higher in energy. If we don't close the battery circuit, the lithium ions can't travel back to the other side and the battery remains charged. As soon as you connect the circuit, the lithium ions can shuttle back across the electrolyte, generating the current that powers your phones in the process. An important point, though, is that the electrons can't travel across the electrolyte. This is incredibly important and is the only reason a battery works. In our demo today, we're going to be creating an internal short circuit in our battery by stabbing it with a nail, allowing electrons to travel across the electrolyte. Whereas the energy in a normal battery discharge is dispensed in a slow and steady manner, this is a much less controlled process and will generate lots of heat. This type of test is an important one for checking the safety of a battery. In this scientific demonstration, we are going to run two nail penetration tests, one on an aluminum plate and the other on a plastic plate. Each battery will be taped to the surface of the plate and an identical lithium-ion polymer battery and penetration procedure will be used in both tests. I want to emphasize that other than the material of the substrate, all of the experimental aspects are the same. We will monitor the temperature of each battery throughout the test using an infrared camera.
Before the video of the testing begins, I want you to put forward a hypothesis. Will the temperature of each battery behave the same? Will one get hotter? Which one? How will thermal conductivity affect things? Try to think about the differing properties of the aluminum and plastic plates. Do this before watching the testing video.